Wow, yeah, that was, oh, that was a clean KO. Basically, as long as you get that uppercut straight, you want to do it from here, from the hips, boom. This allows a lot of good basic combos, and they look so clean and accurate. Hey guys, this is Mariano Big Dog. Today we're going to be breaking down the fighting styles of EA Sports UFC. Please like and subscribe, Gameology, for more videos like this one! Hopefully these guys are really great heavyweights. Mirak is known for his kicks. Ooh, that was a spinning uh, back fist from Johnson. So right now it looks like they're doing mostly stand-up. Merkick, Merkick. There's a hook, a Merkick. Oh, there's a double jab. I, I love double jabs. I think they're awesome. You, you do a lot of people, like especially heavyweights, don't do enough double jabs, and that sets you up at the right or a front kick or a roundhouse kick. Jabs is the A, and then you got the B and the C, which are the hooks, and then the uppercuts, and then the overhand rights. Now they're doing some jujitsu. He basically escaped his guard. Uh, more hooks. There, there is a overhand right they use it a lot when they come in and the guy puts his it puts his uh, head up and then he gets them over the top so those are called overhand rights There's, i noticed they're using a lot of them a lot of low kicks yeah after a while your legs get black and blue i know when i was fighting um you can't even stand up because they, they, they get so swollen especially when somebody's really good with uh with muay thai that's a takedown, it look like a double leg. That's a wrestling move, like a wizard when they go around. A, a jab won't always knock you out, but an uppercut and an overhand right, they will. Basically, as long as you get that uppercut straight, you know, some guys get sloppy and they do it here. You want to do it from here, from the hips, boom. Oh, nice roundhouse. That was a high kick to the head too. When you have one leg in between the other, that's a half guard. When you have both legs on top, that's considered full guard. Wow, I don't know why they don't get each other against the cage. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, the cage goes away. Oh, so they can't really push each other against the cage. That kind of sucks. Oh, that was a Superman punch where you get up and boom. Because you're like Superman. You're either good in one area and you're not that great in the other. But when you're fighting at the level of the UFC, you have to be good. <sighs> yeah, look at that. Right on the head. That's definitely going to knock you out. Wow. Boom. Boom. Mark Hunt, I actually met him. I, I, I met him a couple of times. Uh, he's from... Uh, New Zealand, and that guy is, honestly, I don't know what his head's made out of, but that guy is, he's never hardly been knocked out. And Manoff is really good too, actually. But um, just me personally, I just need, I've always, Mark Hunt is, is, is a little bit overweight, but that's the way he always is, but he's one of the best heavyweights out there. Oh, uh, there he goes, knocked him out. <laughs> Not a lot of heavyweights can do that kick. It looks like a back kick or a hook kick. Either one, it looks very similar because look where it lands. For the middleweights and lightweights, they have all kinds of action. They're, they're fighting in the fifth round like they just started fighting. For the heavyweights, it's uh, uh, the more rounds, the tired they're going to get. And then the fight doesn't get as good. It gets, it's kind of, kind of like dies out, gets a little sloppy. I know the French guy, Nagawa, they practice a lot of sabate. That's their, that's their specialty martial arts. It's called French sabate, which is like nice kicking. Uh, Van Damme used to do that and practice that a lot too. French guys are really good kickers. Oh, good combo. This allows a lot of good basic combos and they look so clean and accurate. If you were to make a training video, a workout video, you can actually use some of these, some of this footage, because it, it's it's realistic. And sometimes 
You can do other combos that they don't expect, like uh, do a softball, switch over to a softball. I, I think sometimes a softball can have an advantage because they think that the power is always coming from the right, but their power is coming from the left. So you're always thinking, no, oh, from my right, all the power is coming from the right, no, the power is coming from the left, so you gotta learn how to move differently. Wow, yeah, that was, oh, that was a clean KO. He's going to sleep now. The bigger you are, the more that oxygen it takes. So that's why you see a lot of the heavyweights, they're not super big anymore. Um, the big guys are like, 250 is the biggest. And when I was fighting, we had guys that were 400 pounds. <laughs> hey Mariano, does size matter? Bigger, bigger is sometimes safer. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.